that's all it is. We were more than nice to you. We told you why we were stopping you because your friend is parked in a handicap. Just because you're a passenger, you jump out. That doesn't make it. That doesn't mean you get it to, it's a home base. Does that make sense? I don't understand why you just, just because, treat me like a criminal, though. I, didn't treat I don't you understand. Like a criminal, yeah, you just grabbed me, and I, I was just, I was on my, I was going in the shop. No, I did not grab you. You kept trying to walk away, so I patted you down for weapons to make sure your safety and my safety. But you were unhappy with that. I'm just, no, I just we shouldn't even have contact. That's it. Well, don't park in the well, handicap. Don't park in the handicap. Spot. I didn't I park anywhere. You, this I was is just walking. Yes, it is. It's right there. It's close down the I was just walking. That's it. No, you immediately saw us and jumped out and tried to walk away. Did you all hear that shit? These police is stupid. Did you hear him just say, we pulled up and parked, but I jumped out the car before the car stopped parking, but he pulling us over for parking in the head. Motherfucker, the car gotta be stopped for you to pull somebody. Motherfucker, you lying there. Do you see how these cops will play with your natural born freedoms just for being black where you live? No, I didn't. I, we, 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 when you pull up here, you gotta go somewhere. That's what we were, we were minding on business. And nobody jumped, no, no, as soon as, no, as soon as the, the car didn't stop before I jumped out. Sorry, I'm not going to ask you. That make no sense. I'm asking you, can you please I'm chilling, bro. for some respect for me? They talking about. Yeah, I'm being illegally detained. I just jumped out on a Sunday being black by this officer right now. You obviously don't know who I am. You're about to find out. No, I'm not. I'm just a passenger. I just jumped out the car. He's harassing me, asking me for my ID. I don't know why I'm American. So if this if this is if this is how it's supposed to go down, we're in South Sacramento right now. So uh officer what's your name? Sir, can I have your what's ID? Your name? Muhammad. Muhammad. ID. Okay. Kind of chill out. He's talking about Yeah, man, it's your boy in the motherfucking building, man. I'm still in the building, man. You see the police trying to tell me, they say, you going to jail. I told them, no, you going to jail. <laughs> so what y'all just watched was, see, back in the day, man, I had my little partner take me to go pay my bill real quick, bro. Right. And we just roll up to the, you know, to, you know, the little G Parkway store where the Metro store is, right? You pull up, stop, you know, naturally I bounce out like I naturally walk. Bam, walk to the store. The police is pulling somebody over already. Got them jacked up like this already. See us turn around and just see some black men. My partner driving, he got the dress. They immediately jump out and grab us, put their hands on me, rough me up, put me on the ground, all that. You see what I'm saying? Let me see your ID, all this. Now, what you're watching in the video is the law breaking the law. And what I'm trying to show y'all with these videos is you need to know your rights. So you need to know what to do next. That literally right there could have been a million dollar lawsuit. But what you don't see online is what you don't see in the video is the police begging me not to do nothing and them shake want me to shake their hands. I'm talking, I told ain't shaking your hand in front of everybody motherfucker make me look bad after i cussed them out and told them what they was wrong for and they knew they was wrong because basically even the store owner of the metro store says i've seen that all you got out and they grabbed you i can get out of a car and stop they if they say we was parked why are you touching the passengers of the car you just deal with the driver right see what i'm saying you can't see i live where they live now see and they don't treat each other like that. You don't have no problems out here. Literally, bro, I swear, the biggest problem with that video was I was probably, don't even come to the ghetto. I was probably in the ghetto for not even five minutes before that happened to me. And, and it's just a switch and just out of environment. It's not a lack of training. It's lack of respect. It's a lack of community here. You see what I'm saying? It's a lack of education. Now, if you knew, when now y'all running around, busting the people's window, doing all this time, doing all this stuff, if y'all knew how easy it was, to sue the police, man, and how easy it is, man. You could just take shots at them. You see what I'm saying? And get something back for what they've been doing to you. You would you, you would be at that courthouse every day knowing your rights. That's what our people fought for. These rights to have rights. You if you're not American if you don't know the law. You see what I'm saying? And basically, the law already protects you from illegal searches and seizures. You see what I'm saying? Legal searches and seizures. See what I'm saying? This is all they do. Bro, try to take you, grab you, do what they want with you, bro. You're not allowed to touch me. If you pulling somebody over, you can only, listen, you're not, they're not even supposed to ask for nobody ID in the car. It's just a regular traffic stop, sir. But then this is what I want to point out, how niggas be suckers, though. You see, bro, he on some type of probation or parole, so he begging me to be cool, and I got, uh, and, and he and the police playing good cop, bad cop with him, telling him, I'm going to get you if you don't get him. He can't do neither nothing to neither of us. 
And guess what? Here's another law they broke. If they threaten you, that's a violation of your constitutional rights too. Man, they can't even threaten you with taking you to jail. You take me to jail or not, but using the threat of law is a criminal threat, my boy. Officer Muhammad, bro, it might have took some time, but I told you, man, motherfuckers who fuck with me, I'm going to fuck right back with you. It's the, look, man, we taking this back to the OK Corral, man, the Western days, man, where we all lived in the community. We all knew each other. No more throwing the rock and hide your hand, bro. You can fuck with me. I could ruin your life, too. Let's let's have some respect for each other. See, this is what the education of, uh, 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 of, the, of the hoods is going to do. See what I'm saying? They're more liable than us. They have more to lose than us. Ooh, ooh, ooh. See, so you want to treat me like a human being or do you really want to fuck around and come to court with a motherfucker like me trying to take everything you got? Now, I'm going to move right in that motherfucking house you done bought, fool. You see what I'm saying? No, don't let nobody disrespect you, touch you, do it. If, you, if this wrong, listen, bro, they even got, we live in Cali Sacramento, California, bro. We making some of the most money just in the world of politics, there is a governor you can go talk to right up the street downtown where we always party. They party too. Guess what? You can speak to them and make them and force them to enforce these actions on the police. You ain't got to go to the police and just do an internal investigation and say what's going on. Go above their head and see why the investigation didn't go. Listen, bro, I'm, a, I'm here to give you the game. I ain't trying to hurt you or nothing, bro. But yeah, that was wrong. You shouldn't have touched me. I jumped out the car. I ain't got nothing to hide, bro. I'm not no criminal, but you see me, bro, and I'm too old for motherfuckers to just be like, get over here and touch me. Let me see your ID. Motherfucker, black people is more American than anybody. We don't need no ID. You hear this? The, the language I speak, you know this is from a motherfucker.